Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Laurel and today we have a thrift haul. This is my first thrift haul of 2024. I do have a couple things. I didn't get too much because I already have a lot, um, but I specifically wanted to pick out pieces that were the 2024 fashion trends that I know that I would be wearing that I could incorporate into my outfits or the clothes that I already have in my closet. And yeah, I only have a couple of things to show you guys, but I thought it would be a really fun video to just kind of give you guys my first haul of 2024 so without further ado let's go ahead and get started okay first up we have this really cool distressed cream top i thought it was really cute for like spring and summer season it's very lightweight it's like kind of like a knitted material it still has the tag it's from lily fashion i don't know if that's like a 2000s brand but it's really lightweight it's like a light sweater i think this would be perfect for like those chilly spring or summer nights it has distressing right here on the edge of the the top and then it has these really cool like stud looking i don't know i thought it was a little edgy definitely my style i could definitely dress this up or dress this down and i could still incorporate this into my closet for like fall season next up i have this purple top if you've seen my guts world tour like styling video i did wear this top this is actually a lingerie top it came with a like a pair of thongs as well but i have it washed up but i thought this beautiful velvet color was perfect for the guts world tour video plus it was super comfortable i thought it wasn't gonna fit me because it's very small and i'm like size medium right now but it's very stretchy, it's very comfortable. I really wanted to add like pops of like primary colors into my wardrobe or my style this year. Next up, I did mention that grass green was going to be a popular color for spring and summer season. It's going to be our like pop of red for like the spring and summer season. So I wanted to pick out some green colored tops or accessories. I really could not find anything except for this top it's actually from Shein but it is the perfect grass green color that I was talking about it has the poofy shoulders and it has the crisscross like backless style on the back it's like kind of like a linen cotton material it's really comfortable it fits me well the only thing is that I'm not really into cropped crop tops and this is super super cropped well not super cropped but it is a lot shorter of a top than I would like but I think it would be cute if I paired it with like a skirt like a high-waisted skirt or high-waisted pants all right this next top if you follow me on Instagram I did give a little peek on whether or not I should get this top because it was a little scandalous but it's this top right here it's actually from Fashion Nova it was on sale for like eight dollars I could definitely style this with like a leather jacket just like an all leather black outfit moment with probably like a black mini skirt and some thigh high boots I think this could definitely like I could definitely make this work um it's definitely bold but I thought it was pretty cool okay I'm not going in any particular order because I just have like a pile of clothes beside me. But I also picked up these pants. Let me zip it up for you. These like work pants. They're like black and gray striped. They are from the brand Motif. And it's just regular straight pants. I thought this would be perfect for whenever I do go into the office for work. And I love straight like trouser pants that I can dress up or dress down. Like I can definitely still dress this down with a chunky knit sweater or wear it to the office with a nice black turtleneck. Like there's so many different ways to style this and I really wanted to pick up like more, not necessarily funkier pants, but definitely a lot more stylish pants. Okay, or... these next pair of pants, these are literally boring, but I love the brand Alfred Dunner. Whenever I see this brand at the thrift store they just have the perfect trouser pants and i saw this and it was just a pair of black stretchy trouser pants that i can just get a use of for so many years it's still in really really good like condition it's straight legs so it's not a like, tight and it's not too baggy i think this is perfect for literally any occasion it's stretchy it doesn't give off the look that it's super super like work style or formal it, it could be dressed up dressed down and like i said i love this brand i have a couple pants from this brand already that i've also thrifted in the past and i love it i love how comfortable it is so whenever i see the alfred dunner pants or blazers i'm always i'm always gonna get it okay so i was also looking for pops of red when I was at the thrift store and I found this beautiful chunky knit slightly like off the shoulder kind of red sweater 
and I thought this was perfect. I've actually thrifted this like weeks ago and I've worn this sweater so many times since then. It is the perfect chunky sweater. It's not too hot, it's not too thick, it's lightweight and it gives just that perfect pop of red in your outfit. I've been wearing this lately with my black yoga pants, with my black leather pants, with jeans. Literally just making the sweater as my statement piece and I'm obsessed. I love it. It's super comfortable and I think I got this for $3. The only problem that I have with this sweater is that it tends to shed like like literally everywhere so when I'm wearing all black it tends to stick and like pieces of the fabric will just kind of fall off which is kind of bad but this sweater is like too cute okay moving on to some dresses I think I only have like a couple but this one this beautiful dress you'll see on the try on portion there's only some pieces that I got to try on at the actual thrift store but this beautiful princess poly dress I've actually seen this on their website like a long long time ago and I've been wanting it so the fact that I saw it at my thrift store and it was on sale for six dollars I had to get it. It's beautiful. It's perfect for the spring season. It fits me perfectly. This also still has the tag on it. It is the Milo's mini dress in white. It is just the perfect summer dress. Like I feel like you just need a good go-to white summer dress and I can't wait to wear this. It's almost like a linen cotton material, like a linen cotton blend. It's so pretty and I love the top portion. I don't know if you could see because the lighting is kind of weird. But it's kind of like that bustier style. Okay, this dress. Oh my god. This dress. When I saw this dress. This is also one of the pieces I have thrifted like a couple weeks ago. But I just kind of piled it in my closet. This is actually a beautiful Zara dress. It is this. It's this taupey halter style like satin A-line dress. It is so beautiful and I think this would be beautiful for like that late spring night, summer nights. This is just so sexy and so stunning. It was still in really, really good shape and I think I got it for $6 as well. I love finding Zara pieces at my thrift store because sometimes they sell the older styles that I- Okay, again, if you saw my Guts World Tour styling video, you would have seen this dress. I thrifted this beautiful dress in New York and it is very similar to that white dress that I just showed you. It is stunning. It has beautiful like frills at the bottom of the dress. It has slight ruching on the side of the dress. Again, it has that beautiful bustier style of top in the front and it just kind of like squeezes the girlies really nicely and it's like a straight a-line dress but again it has the ruching and like the little ties so you can kind of like it a little bit more mini if you'd like it but i love this i think i'm gonna wear this to the olivia concert i really don't know what i'm gonna do but i think it's beautiful i think you could definitely get a lot of use for a simple white dress that again this is perfect for spring and summer season moving on to skirts you might have seen this on the try on portion but this is from the brand mio muse it's this beautiful blue and white flouncy skirt I thought it was super cute and super girly. Again, I wanted to get more blues, reds, purples, and greens for the spring and summer season. So I saw this skirt and I thought this would be really pretty paired with a white sweater top. Plus it has shorts underneath which just makes it perfect because I love skirts with shorts underneath. Next up, ooh, I just saw the tag for this and it was literally $5. But this skirt I also showed on the try-in portion and I thought it was super, super cute little schoolgirl moment I was literally on the hunt for like a plaid mini skirt I kind of wanted it to be like black or red but when I saw the yellow one I was like wait that's kind of cute I don't have anything yellow and I think this would be fun for the spring and summer season I was already styling this in my head with a really cute light chunky gray sweater I think on the trying portion I did not like like the top part of the, the skirt it looked weird on me but again if I'm going to be pairing it with like a chunky gray sweater on top you probably won't even see the top portion of the skirt you'll only see like the bottom pleated skirt area okay again with the plaid skirt I saw this and I literally could not pass it up and it fits me perfectly it is again another yellow plaid <laughs> pleated flouncy skirt but it's a different shade of yellow it's like a, a mustardy yellow it's different it's cute I like the way this one fits a lot better this one I feel like I could definitely wear with like a nicer fitted top and this also has 
a pair of shorts underneath, which is just a win-win. I feel like all skirts, especially mini skirts, should come with shorts underneath. Please. And why are we making skirts without shorts underneath? Like, why? Okay, I was also on the hunt for some lace detailed or sheer material tops or dresses. I didn't really find any except for this cute little mesh lace detailed mini cardigan. I thought this would be cute to kind of pair over like tank tops or crop tops or just wearing this kind of like underneath a t-shirt would be kind of cool because the sleeves are... A really cool mesh material and yeah this was literally the only one that i saw in store so i had to get it i think this was for kids to be honest but it is from the brand labelle i'm pretty sure this is vintage because the the tag looks vintage okay also in my previous video i i mentioned that elevated but plain tops are gonna be in so i was really on the hunt for like super plain tops that still had style or structure to it so i saw this really plain white top really boring in the front but then in the back it has a little tie it's a little backless i thought it was really nice and simple perfect for literally every day and i could wear this dressed up or dressed down i wanted to pick up more tops like this i could i really couldn't find as much but this white one was a steal because i don't have any white tops for the spring and summer season okay cobalt blue i also mentioned cobalt blue was going to be a big color so i wanted to pick up a cobalt blue something and I saw this really chunky sweater cardigan situation it was the perfect shade of cobalt blue and I think this would be literally perfect for the spring and summer season and this color of blue is everything like I want to find more stuff in this color okay next up we have this black flouncy dress super super cute I love everything about this dress it is the most comfiest dress that I have picked up so far it's nice and stretchy it's black so it could really be paired for like night or daytime looks this also still had the tag and it is from Liberty Love never heard of them again super cute and flouncy perfect for the warmer weathers to come okay my camera died so if I have shifted a little bit so sorry about that back to the haul um okay this my dogs came in. Come. He's my puppy. Here's baby girl. The other girl came to visit me, film a video. Okay, next up I have this beautiful, stunning, black, shimmery sequins dress. Where is this from? This is from the brand The Sang. It is a size small. It does not fit me. <laughs> but I could not pass up on this. This was $7 at the thrift store. And I remember during like New Year's, like Christmas New Year's season, I was on the hunt for sequins dresses all over the thrift store and I could not find anything. And then suddenly I went with my mom and I found so many sequin dresses this time around. So, I mean, but this one really, really did caught my eye and it's definitely more of my style. Definitely for like a party or a birthday or New Year's, I had to get it. Cause you know what, maybe one day I will fit into this. Maybe, I have hope. I mean, I don't know, but I could not pass up on this dress. It's too stunning. I'm pretty sure this is from like the 2000s. It's from the brand Ultra Flirt. I just thought it was so cute and <laughs> It's definitely giving Hannah Montana, um, but it is this beautiful silver sequins straight. I would say it's kind of tight, like it's a tight tank dress and it has stars. I think this is kind of cute. It is giving Hannah Montana, but I think this would be kind of cute for Olivia's concert. Like how fun would this be? This is kind of her aesthetic, like the stars, sparkly moment, black, edgy but still kind of girly. Okay, I only have like three pieces left of clothing. This next piece is actually a brown leather jacket that I also had thrifted like weeks ago, but it's like a brown leather blazer and I've already been wearing this so many times. I love wearing brown on brown and this is just the perfect fitted jacket. I think it's not too oversized, but it's not too tight. It is literally the perfect brown leather jacket. Let me show you. Like so cute i just love the way it fits i'm just gonna keep it on for the rest of the video because it's just it's my favorite find at the moment the last clothing piece that i have is this jacket it's actually like a varsity jacket um i also picked this up like a while back when i thrifted in new york but it's this really basic black varsity style jacket but on the front it has little gems like little 
little embellishments. I thought it was really cute and unique. Like, it's still simple and boring, but this little added detail was really fun and cute. Okay, moving on to accessories. I have this belt. When I saw this belt, I was like, this is stunning. This is beautiful. Look at this belt. Beautiful. I already have, like, that white flouncy a-line bohemian style skirt and i thought this would be perfect to put over it i just i have no words for this i can't believe i found this this was like a little expensive this was like 12 dollars. i would not normally spend 12 dollars on a belt but given how unique this is and just like the bohemian elements of it i could not pass this up i thought this was absolutely beautiful okay moving on to shoes i have like four pairs of shoes this first pair you might have seen it in my previous video but it's just a pair of of gold metallic style converses I picked this up in New York and it is my size it fits me perfectly this was on sale for half off I love converses so I was like ooh, this is definitely different and I know that metallic shoes and metallics are in okay so next up I have these shoes it's like this brown maroonish colored slide it is the most comfiest shoe ever. This is slightly platformed. It's so comfortable. It's rubber. I don't know the brand of this shoe. I know that it was originally from Goodwill because it has the Goodwill tag. But I think this is perfect for summer and spring. It's it's so comfortable. And um, there's really nothing else to say. I think I found a jackpot with these pair of sandals. Next up, I got these beautiful pair of snakeskin dark brown knee-high slightly slouchy boots first of all snakeskin is in snakeskin leather leather print cheetah print is in i was trying to look for leopard or cheetah print i couldn't find any first of all i love browns i love how it's so subtle like the snakeskin detailing is so subtle so if you're not super crazy on like diving straight into that snakeskin or printed trend this is the perfect segue to get into it or kind of try it out for a little bit because this is really simple but it's still really subtle and i know the slouchy boots are kind of i feel like they're also going to make a comeback this year so this is also like a nice little segue into that trend as well because it is slouchy but it's not super slouchy okay last pair of shoes are these beautiful babies right here these are a pair of white boots they are absolutely stunning they're slightly square toed they have like just the perfect brown heel it's not too high it's definitely comfortable and it has like this kind of detailing on the side of the shoe i thought this was perfect i've been on the hunt for a pair of like white boots or white shoes and my thrift store had this for seven dollars i could not pass it up it was a little bit bigger for my size it was like an 8.5 and i'm a size seven and a half slash eight um but i could not pass this up when i saw this i was like i have to have this it doesn't look too run down i think like the heeled portions are a little run down but honestly it's still in pretty good shape but yeah that is basically all that i have so far i am probably gonna still be thrifting here and there to see if i could find more pieces for 2024 because there are still pieces that i have in my notes that i want to look for so stay tuned because i'm probably still gonna have a lot more thrift hauls and i'm probably gonna style these pieces to show you guys how i style them for the upcoming spring season so yeah stay tuned for that but that is it you guys thank you so much for watching today's video be sure to like share comment subscribe and support my channel below thank you again for watching and i will see you guys next week Bye.